Gemcraft Labyrinth, which apparently has no connection whatsoever to Cursed Treasure, Don't Touch My Gems. The uh, thumbnail looked similar, and I was wondering if it had been a related series, but it's not. A completely different take on tower defense. So, I uh, took down one stage, or I had just gotten the end screen, just to make sure I knew how, I pl how the game worked, so I wouldn't spend too much time fumbling around with the basic controls here. Okay. <clears throat> Finally, the student years are over. It was more than too long. Decades, in fact. Spending half my time as the chief of guard in a small town in the outskirts. This, at least, kept me from forgetting gem crafting skills. Ge gem crafting skills. And the other half keeping myself young and ready with cheap magic tricks and studying higher wizardry. Two weeks ago, everything changed. It began with something like an eclipse. Everything went dark for a moment, with a wild wave, the wind blowing through the town. Then the weather became more sinister. Each day, it was either the silence before the storm, with strange colors and even ashes flying with the wind, or the storm itself smashing and flooding. Monsters of the wilderness began appearing at the town gates in much greater numbers than before, forcing me to constantly upgrade the gems guarding the town, and to set death traps all over the streets. Ah! Death traps all over the streets. Yes, that's where they belong. What, walls? Gates? Arches? Pfft, no. Death traps in the streets where the children's play. I'm brilliant at this protecting the city thing. Ha ha ha. The townspeople fled in terror. Why, why are they fleeing? I'm just putting death traps in their streets like a good protector. Uh, some people. Carrying what they could of their belongings. And by the tenth day, it was just me and the monsters in this ghost town. So we had a party. Me and the monsters in the ghost town. This was also the day that the location of the Great Test, the challenge I was waiting for so long, appeared on my magic map. Oh, yeah, it's the big Scrabble game, the big Scrabble tournament I've been waiting for. A true test of my skills. Fortunately, it was just a few days away. Now I understand why the council sent me to that small town and not anywhere else for spending my seemingly endless years of practice and preparation. Okay, explore 13 by 13 fields of the labyrinth. Repel the attack on the monsters on the field. And more fields will appear. Fi uh, click on the field, the entrance to the labyrinth to begin. I start with field G13. I uh, noticed that board. G13. K. Okay. Not, not A1. Oh wait, no, that'd be a field filled with steak sauce. Never mind. And now, here I am, at the entrance of the labyrinth. There's something shining at its center. But I can't just hop over there. I sense some kind of energy not letting me pass the fields of the maze that simply... That simply... Well, it must have been like this for, for a reason. Maybe it's a part of my test. Just like the hordes of monsters lurking in there, waiting to ambush me. Okay, so that's what took a little bit to figure out, because I was looking for there to be gems that I could work with, and they weren't there. You click, and you click on what level of gem you want to make. So, I just made a poison gem. Now I'm going to make a multiple gem. Yeah. Just a multiple gem. What? It's a, it's a standard element, like fire or ice. Just just multiple. So, actually, it makes sense to me to start by poisoning things. Yeah, I know. Poisoning things. And then, um, multipling them. Make, makes sense. Makes sense to me. Really. So this is what I'm guarding. 
Uh, it says I should keep mana in it, so it'll banish uh, monsters that get close enough. But I'm too good for that. Let's see what happens if I put a wall. How about if I put a wall here? Huh? Uh, there's a lot more on that side. Can't, can't, can't get through it, huh? Interesting. Uh, I better think about this. I should create a trap, maybe. Yeah. The probably needs a gem. There you go. Twenty-five percent chance to do times two damage only does one to two damage. That can't be right. I'll put that there then. Poison trap. Ah, 14 poison damage over 5 seconds. Now, there we go. Okay. So, how do... Let's try throwing... Let's try throwing a gem bomb. No, uh... B. Okay. Okay. Towers which I can put on walls that I built so I can stick more right, let's make a higher grade gem so this one's actually twice as powerful has better range and even fires faster leveling up is good but it will not let me build walls um, anywhere that would block the enemies from ever getting here because because that would be smart. So I'm not allowed to do that. Let's see. Amplifier. Cannot shoot, but they increase the damage and specials of gems placed in adjacent towers. Interesting. Amplifiers. I hadn't seen that. Okay. Uh, battle animate. Amulet, yay! XP, yay! Okay, so now we're entirely into unknown territory, because I played the first map and I'm still looking at new stuff, so. You have leveled up. New skills and battle settings are unlocked. Stats! Ah, hmm. You didn't mean strength, dexterity, and constitution, apparently. Okay then. Amulets. I guess I don't equip it. I guess it's just a permanent thing. Mm. Okay. So how do I spend my level up? <laughs> Where do I put my skill points? Buy our more expensive edition. I don't even know if I... I have to play your game first to determine if it's worth having or not. Uh mm. Oh G thirteen Ah so A one is over there. Oh my gosh, there's a lot here. And I can kind of see the maps. Let's do the one with a big old box in it. Besides, it's got a red gem. I'd like to have some fire. In the battle settings panel, you can mix many different settings to create the custom mode you want to fight the battle in. More difficult settings, reward with more XP! Okay. So as I level up, I get... Oh, I see. Well, I sure don't have a lot of options unless I want plus five waves for... A... A... 0.04% experience boost. Five more waves. You get your experience boost. 0.04. No deal. Is that what my level up gets me? Is that, that it? That, that That's what my level up offers me. I, I could add five waves. Okay, fine. Oh, skills. Oh, here we go. To, in the skills panel, you can learn more to upgrade skills. Learn a skill, blah, blah, blah. Drag mouse upwards. You can unlearn skills. Okay. 
focus. 16% higher initial mana. 4% more mana replenish over time. That one sounds more like me. Up. Oh! Okay. Oh. Hmm. Yes, I'll take it all! Yeah, you can have one in that, too. Yay. Can't wait to get the better skills. This one looks nice. Firing speed for all gems. Oh my gosh, I want that stuff. And you want the premium edition for all the cool shit. All the really cool stuff. We'll just lock it. Okay. Let's do this. You can combine gems to create more powerful gems. Oh, they actually combined their colors. Becomes a half and half gem. Hmm. Walls are much cheaper to build than other buildings and provide an inexpensive way to build a long maze for monsters. The longer the path, the more time you'll have to kill them. Yep. Well, I mean, I this is good. I can't improve on that. Huh. Drop gem bombs with or fire with gems t in towers to destroy. Well, it's not going to let me get any towers anywhere near this thing. <laughs> Alright, here's what we're going to do. Let's check out our new one. So, slowing gem, always my favorite thing, and bloodbound gem. Increases with each kill done by the gem. Well, shoot. Obviously, that's... Uh-oh, please tell me I have enough mana to still do this. Uh. Tower! Put the tower! Uh-oh. Walls? That's a wall. Tower, tower, oh, ah, ah. I'm stupid. Okay. Oh, yeah, I just start all the waves early. Why don't I do that? That sounds brilliant. What? Point, am I gonna get the most shots at an enemy here? I don't know. I'm gonna go with that for now. Come to me. And I'm gonna make one of these. Come on. Come on. Okay. Just a little more. Eight percent of eighteen percent of total kills goes to damage. And that neat. Feel better if it was a bigger gem. That now. Here. Okay. Target gets 18% slower. Perfect. Come on! Come on! Each tower is more expensive than the ones before it, I see. I want to get a bigger gem if I can. Oh, I will risk it. I want to go up another size category. This is the mana speed gain. I'll do that. Even though it's kind of risky and stupid of me to do it. Come on. Give me the bigger gem. I want the big one. 
I have the strange feeling it's gonna be like that, like all game for me. And when you're like bigger, yes, bigger. One shotting them, and a much faster firing speed. And as it kills, it becomes deadlier. Okay. No. Uh. B. No. Break! Crap, that has a ton of hit points. I see. Never mind. I don't have enough gems to break that. Oh. Oh, I get it. Okay, so this is just a this is just a one-time thing. I see. So I just got plus 30% experience now. Okay. I think I think I understand this game now. Uh, you've reached wizard level four! Yes, I have. I have not tried... Blue or... Let's do this one. What more skills could I possibly ask for? Okay, I'll figure that out, but I haven't gotten to lightning shrines, charged bolt shrines, and I would like to place an amplifier sometime. Oh, crap! Oh, crap! What kind of setup is this? No matter what I do... No... No, 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 wait, I'm starting to see this. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Yes... Right! Okay. This is an obnoxious map. But I'm going to do it like this. Okay? I'm not going to do it like that. Because now, now I don't have... Armor tearing gems. Each hit degrades the armor of the target. Extracts mana from the monster targeted on hit. Nice. Um, be even nicer if I could make something. Okay, I guess I'm supposed to have more mana at the start. If I want to do multiple towers to begin with. Alright, we're going to put the first one here. I'm going to go with a mana gem. No, that's an armor gem. Alright, I'm going to go with an armor gem. Uh, obviously, I need to worry about their armor, for, first and foremost. Uh, give me a tower! <laughs> Out of the way! Okay, ah, uh, wow. Oh, I'm so stupid. And the answer, it is obvious. There you go! Except for the fact that I'm still going to lose. I need another tower. All right, you mana stone. Better get me a lot of mana, because you don't have any attack power back in your cannon. Uh... 
That one's 3 to 11. Got a better firing speed, too. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on! Okay. T for tower, then grab the gem. Come on. Get him! Get him! No! No! How do you play this? Oh my gosh, I should go to another map, shouldn't I? I don't have the ability to play this one. Wow. Jeez. What an obnoxious map. I see a way. Okay. 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 This should work better. Got that. I could just throw a gem bomb at him, but it's just too expensive. Hundred and eighty. How hard do you hurt me? It's too much. That bleed and mana. I figured I could let myself take some hits here. If it got me a tower, it'd be okay. But it's not. Ah! It's pretty hard. But it's no good. It's no good. Wow. Jeez. So, um... Don't go that way. Alright, let's be... Let's be a little... Let's pretend for a moment that we're sane and go to the other starting map. Shocking Gems has a chance to shock the target. Nice. I want to combine two gems. Okay. Alright, they gave me three towers. That's... that's huge. No, I shouldn't combine them yet. Alright, go! Go! Okay. Combine. Oh. It's not quite as good as either on its own, but... Dual gem modifiers. Plus 5% damage, plus 5% firing speed, plus 5% range. Huh. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Pretty obvious to me. Put a shocker there. And they still have to go around now, won't they? There! All is now well. Except that I can't target this with a tower. Much as I'd like to. Close to I have to put an amplifier. What's its range? All adjacent. What if I put this in you? Ah, there we go. Okay, that amplifies you only because... Okay. 
only directly adjacent, but still. Okay. I'll just pop that in there. Boop! More powerful! Alright, I think I've gotten a firm handle on what's going on now. Oh! Novice amulet. Put a gem on an amplifier. Create a dual gem. Oh, okay. Yay! Okay. Now we have to tackle one of the harder ones. I'm gonna go for it. Hopefully now... Trap time, is it? Look at all those traps all ready to go. Hmm. I should put a tower here. Okay. Lightning shrines are expensive, huh? Okay. Alright. So, first of all, I want a mana gathering gem here. And I want a bloodbound gem here. My understanding of traps is correct. Yeah, I should drop the mana ones in the traps. And the blood bounds in the towers. Because a blood bound in a trap, 1 to 3 damage, great. Big whoop with percentage based scaling. Damage is much higher in towers. Traps, in this case, I can't. I can't do poison traps or anything, but I can do these. And just use the traps as a way to gain mana. I can just sit and wait a little longer, gathering mana rapidly. This is so much easier than that last one. Guess that better. Look at the range on difference. All right, and that pretty much clinches this. Go ahead, shoot more of them at me. See where it gets you. Yeah, I could drop a trap somewhere and just scoop up more mana. Mana generation traps seem really good to me. But I would like a map where I had access to more than two options at a time. Hmm. What's this? Giant terrifying boy. 2% lower gem creating and combining mana cost. Uh, I think I would like 
That's it. I can only have one rank in each. Well, I, I guess that's um, that. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Chain hit. Slowing. Not the most useful wall pattern here. I assume that they cannot go through diagonally, right? Drop a gem bomb to demolish. Those things don't grow on trees. I don't have unlimited gem bombs. My understanding is correct. That's so wasteful. Okay. My understanding's correct. They'll have to go all the way around now. And then up in like this. Now, ideally... Gotta smash another one, but I don't have unlimited mana right now. Probably better that I lay down something now. There, now I've guaranteed I've at least got something. <sighs> Gotta go with that. Okay, good. Okay. A little bit better. I want to keep running them around, but I need some towers now. Oh, just a little more. Power up, power up! Okay. Twelve waves. Alright. Twelve waves. Kind of want a tower here, a slow down tower right here, don't I? That would be perfect, actually. Faster! There! Alright, we're okay. We can get through this. What are those little things incoming?
I want to make bigger gems, but alas, I cannot afford such slow traps. Why didn't I think of a slow trap before? It's so obvious. Well, I think it up, it's so obvious. Get one step bigger before the final and deadliest wave. I did it. I thought that would do more than it did. Take some damage from that. Oh well. Did you even get a chance to kill anything? You didn't. Oh well. I did too well for you to get a shot. So yeah, if you were to extend the number of waves and the power of the enemies, that could be a very interesting map. Okay. Let's try the one that gave me fits earlier. Not this one, though. It's kind of interesting. No, this one. Was it this one? Yeah. Okay, you. So. Now that I have a little bit more under my belt. If you demolish your own buildings, you ref or refund some. On wave stones? Oh, what they're talking about now. Okay, so way I see it, and the biggest worry are the ones that come in through here. But I don't actually get to place any towers anywhere else. So. And actually, them coming straight down is not as good. Hmm. My options are mana gathering and armor tearing. I'm put a trap here that makes mana. to try to get as much mana as I can as quickly as possible. Now. I guess I'll have to put a wall here. this much is correct. Go! Alright. This time we got it. I'm sure of it. I'm not really sure this is the best setup. Honestly. Another wave, quick! Got it! Come on, you two! <sighs> okay.
Okay. Okay. Well, it'll do a tiny bit of damage. And get me a little bit of mana. And they're scoring hits. I have lost this one. Hmm. Why is this one so much harder? Am I just thinking about this all wrong? like walling it off this way. I just don't. But I just don't see a lot of options, you know? I had more options with my gem types. Ah, it went even worse. I can do this. I'm going to give it one more try. One more try, all or nothing. blunt way of doing things, but... Just need 200... Just need 200... Okay. Soften them up. Just a much more direct way. Ignore the economics of gathering more mana, huh? Maybe. Okay. Now I can throw a gem bomb still. Well. Uh, bad news for you things that look like you're heavily armored. I'm running pretty much nothing but armor breakers. Go on. It's interesting, because man is also my hit points. Because of the uh, way the orb works. Yeah. Well. Just a little more mana and I can... Ah! Ah, that hits much better. So I have to spend hit points every time I want to do anything. 
basically. Crap, takes too long for them to charge up. Just put you there. There. What a pain. So, Gemcraft Labyrinth. You didn't unlock anything for beating that field. There's no treasure, it's just a dead end. I guess I can kind of see how these paths go now, kind of makes sense. So this one would unlock down and that one up. Okay. Well, that was interesting. And until next time, every time, this is Hatrix signing off. It's so stupid. I just discovered the blinding obvious. Anywhere off the map, I can just drop a tower. Anywhere that's off the lines, I mean. Oh my gosh, that changes everything. The game will be so much easier now. Ah. Uh.